The groundhog didn't see its shadow yesterday, so with spring here, I decided to go ahead and upgrade my tower to make more room for more shrimp. Of course, the sponge filters had to be disconnected so I could start to drain everything. And the only reason I mentioned spring is because I have a heated room, and heated rooms are expensive. I gotta take advantage of that Texas heat. I don't think I'll be culturing Church of Selma soon, since this is how much I was able to pull from the tanks above, and it is a lot. But I'm still going to go ahead and clean these so I can have them ready to go just in case I need them in the future. If you're looking into getting this rack, consider that the four long vertical legs are actually two pieces held together by one of the rows, and it really limits row placement, and you have to get a little creative to get around that. I just screwed two screws into a piece of wood to hold them, since I don't really have much to make things with. But this is what it's supposed to look like, and this is the piece that I made, and I know it seems a little shoddy, but right now, that's what's holding it together, and it held that 40 gallon just fine. The weight of the 40 gallon over there is a lot heavier than one of the row one of the rows with four five and a halfs. And with that new piece built, I can go ahead and start moving rows around and start counting up how many I can actually get onto here. So I can get five rows of five and a halfs, but for right now, we're just going to do three since I still want to keep that bottom row for algae cultures. Do not ask me how I got that 40 gallon down. It was super heavy and I'm super weak and it took a lot of books to get me up to the height to be able to lift that 40 gallon up and over the four longer legs. The lights that I use are actually just micro lights held up by some S clips that I found on Amazon. I will link those on the description below. And I know they might not be the best, but they do a really good job of lighting the entire room up and the entire row up. My girlfriend actually calls my room illuminescent because of how bright it looks when I have the doors open. Here are the nicro lights. Here are the S clips that hold the nicro lights up. So the sponge filters are connected via airline. Obviously, they go up to a check valve and they go to these USB air pumps. These USB air pumps, of course, have the USB uh, little plugins. This I will link onto Amazon as well. This was a little pricey for my liking, but it can it has just a lot of slots, and really, it's the only thing that could get the job done. All right, and now that we have the tower set up, I can go ahead and start putting all my ice pods up here. Um, I do breed them occasionally; they just kind of, you know, are up here. Sometimes I'll sell them. Not, it's not very often, they do reproduce not very quickly, but if you all have any questions about them, I can definitely go ahead into how some of these are set up. 